Good morning, this is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Mark opens up here in about eight minutes, so let's see what happens. All right, I'm watching uh, BA here for a potential break of 125.50. But as of right now, consolidating out here a little bit. Markets are actually pulling back right now, but BA, as you see here, is not only holding strong, but it's actually going higher. So, all right, I will keep an eye on it. Well, Beyond continues its uh, big movement to the upside here. And it was looking for a sign of weakness, but uh, this pullback here just came out of nowhere, so it just came, didn't give me any warning at all. And it very well could you know, continue to grind upwards. So I'm looking for, I want this candle to get green again so that I can then look for a potential sign of weakness. But like I said, I don't want to see a consolidation candle here, which it looks like it's going to form, but still a little bit of time left. Boeing may be coming back into play here. Get 125.50 was that area I was looking at earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and get short here. 125.50. And I'm in, and it's trying to get the breakdown through that area. So I'm in at 58. Definitely trending down right now. Especially if the market wants to pull back some here. So let's see what it wants to do. I will have to stop it up over 126.60. So let's see if we can get some more pressure to the downside. Oh, now it's trying to work back up. Again, I'm liking these candles that are forming. The question just becomes at this point, is there enough downwards pressure to keep it going? And what would be extra helpful is if the markets themselves pulled back some more here. They're kind of cooperating, but not quite. Well, like I said, I'm going to have to stop this over 126.61. Well, never mind. Oh, I never changed that to stop. 
So starting off the day in a $800 hole, but I don't wanna give up on this because I think this thing wants to work its way back downwards. So short again at 126.25, because it's looking like the overall markets wanna themselves roll back downwards. which should help out here. So again, market's really trying to roll back over here. So there's 126. Wow, all over the place. Can the markets break to new lows here if it can? Wow, Boeing is just ridiculously, ridiculously strong right now. I mean, the markets are behaving just like I would want to see them behave, and Boeing is just not really playing ball. I mean, I'm not going to give up on it yet, but I mean, there's no need to try to act tough about it. It's uh, not exactly going according to how I was uh, thinking it would go, especially with the way the markets are acting. The markets are rolling over here and Boeing's barely budging. So 126.30 area, all out of nowhere, just acting as support. Well, this goes up over 127, going to have to take the loss here, which is a shame. Markets are trying to pull back a little bit here, but let's see how I have 120. So this thing's either gonna pull back in my favor or I'm gonna have a, have a loss on it. Now 126.40 seems to be that new little base of support that it's really struggling to make any progress below. So from watching level twos, 126.40, 126.30 are definitely those couple areas. Well, the markets are pulling back again. So can it, so there's 28, look at all those buyers right there. All right, there we're getting some movement now. Can we get down below 126? Let's 
trying. There we go. Can we get some more downside pressure here? Markets are coming down too. All right, so I'm just gonna take the score right there. Um, like I said, unfortunately, markets are pulling back and this one just was not really keeping pace. So relatively strong to the markets. But I got back a, a chunk of that at least, but let's see what else I can find. All right, I'm gonna give this another go here at 125.50. Overall, the trend seems to be down, especially if the markets can uh, break down below this mark here that I'm watching off screen here. See if it can roll back down. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause for the time being. All right, well, it's working its way back down to the 125.50 mark again. Can it actually break though? There's the break. Now can we get more momentum to the downside is the question. And so far so good, we're getting some good downside. Wow, look at that, and that fast back up. Well, that was quite the tease. Can it work its way down? Oh my, look at, well, hindsight, I understand what you're saying. I'm kind of saying the same thing to myself. Clay, you should have just taken off some profits when it was all the way down here. I agree, but and this current movement here is pretty crazy. And we get another push to the downside though. Okay, I'm trying to take some off down there at 24. So I 
put some profits in my pocket here. Now it's just a question of can this thing break down below 125? All right, I'm taking my gains there. This was a pretty overextended move here, and I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but uh, I also expect there to be quite a few buyers at 125, but uh, I'll take the win. But I think Beyond is looking for a breakout here, over 116. So again, looking for Beyond to get up over 116. So I'm long here. Can it get through 116 is the question. Now a lot of sellers there as would be expected. So there's the break. Get a nice move. Can I get through 150? Nice. So all out there for a nice $220 scalp. Let's see what else I can find. Okay, I'm now looking to potentially go short here at 117.55. All right, well, let's see how to behave there. I'm gonna go up to 117.95. So 117.95 again on the short side. Well, now it's pulling back, so. All right, never mind for the time being. All right, I have an order at, well, not looking like it's gonna come in play. Ah, shoot. Had an order at 31.75 here on LPSN, but one up as high as, well, let me make that a little bit thicker here. But the high was 137.64, and again, my order was at 137 or 31.75. So I was close, but not close enough. So I do need to change that one now to 31.95. So, all right, and the reason I got the video rolling, I thought I was gonna get filled there, but uh, just didn't quite happen. All right, I think Beyond wants to at least revisit 119 if not even get lower than that here. So there's 119 getting hit. Can it drop below though? So approaching 119 again. Can it get down through 119? Is the question. I think it's got a good chance. So again, I'm at Trying to get down there. 
So what I'll do for the time being, just since we're kind of sitting here not doing much, is I'll go ahead and pause the video and, if, well, there we go. Trying to at least. So there's the break and all out there for a score of, I'm not sure what exactly that was, but I am back green at, uh, let's see, 116 bucks. We are at 10.40 a.m., so basically an hour in. Uh, let's see, with commissions, don't hold me to this. I'll, I'll guess right around probably 75, $85. Um, but yeah, sometimes that's how training goes. Sometimes uh, you, you start off in a hole, but you stick with the system, stick with the strategy, and um, you know, you, you, can, you can fight back. And in this situation, I was able to fight back uh, took a while, but uh, it is what it is. So not every day can be massively green, but uh, with how I started off, I will take walking away green. And the learning lesson here is this stings, there's no way around it, but you know what, it happens to everybody. So think about my first trade that actually put me into the red. Um, I had to get stopped out. I mean, you're watching this move here, it's looking like it wanted to break down. And ultimately speaking, think about it, I was totally right, totally right, that thing just, got destroyed, problem is, you can see before that, this thing was looking like it started to break out. Now, yes, in hindsight, you say, Clay, you should have not got, you should have never gotten out at 126.40. You shouldn't have done that, Clay. Well, yes, I fully agree, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done it. But what happens if this chart and this breakout was actually a true breakout and would have kept grinding higher and higher and higher? How big would my loss have gotten? Who knows how big it would have gotten? Now yes, in hindsight, it stings. It's super, super annoying to know that ultimately, I was right. It started to break out, I had to just get out, and then all of a sudden, it went in my favor, and then went in my favor in a very, very big way. But you know what? It happens. That's what occurs when you actually honor stop losses, when you're actually disciplined. Sometimes you're gonna have situations where you get stopped out, you take a loss, and then you look back and the voice shows up. Well, you know, if you would have broken your rule, if you would have violated the the, you know, the, the rules of your system, you, you would have actually been green. Like why, you should, so then of course, the temptation becomes on the next trade, what do you think I'm gonna be tempted to do the next time? Okay, well, I remember that last Boeing trade, and if I would have broken my rules, I would have, I would have been green. Okay, well, things, see that? But all it takes is one. All it takes, and there's been plenty of videos where you'll see me honor stop losses, but after the stop loss is honored, the price goes further and further against me, and it would have been a much bigger loss had I you know, not honored the stop loss. So you're not alone if you've been there. I mean, that stings. I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend like, oh, you know, this isn't annoying. No, that's super annoying. I got stopped out almost right up around the top there. And like I said, and I get it, the hindsight people, you know, they're saying, Clay, you, you, you should have adjusted your stop loss. You should have given it more wiggle room. But the problem is, had this thing continued to rip those exact same people would be saying, Clay, why did you give your stop loss such wiggle room? It was obvious it was gonna break out. So that's why hindsight is a, a very cruel judge because um, yeah, I can sit here and, and come up with every excuse in the book on, oh, well, I was wrong in this way. No, I wasn't wrong at all. I'm very proud of myself. I got out, that thing was looking strong. It was looking like it could have broken out and had it kept breaking out, then that uh, original hole would have been so much larger. But it was a hole, it wasn't, you know, un uh, you know, it wasn't something that I couldn't overcome. As you saw here, I, I just overcame it and, and got back into the green. But just remember that, okay? So you're not a bad trader. You're not stupid. You're not, you know, doing something wrong if you get stopped out and then it goes in your favor. Um, and, you know, sometimes, now in some situations, maybe you could have, you know, given yourself a little bit more wiggle room. Uh, but I mean, on this one, even if you would have used the previous highs for your stop, that's, this was just a cruel move. It broke to new highs and then rolled back over after pulling back, so I mean, nice move up, nice pull back consolidation, started to roll back over, I thought it was gonna roll over at that point, um, especially like I said, given the markets at that point, markets were totally going down and Boeing was going up, um, and then it started to break out. So you factor that in, and you know what, it is what it is, I'm proud of myself, I behaved in the way I should have behaved, and at some point in the future, that's gonna save me from a massive, massive headache that could have been caused by just breaking a rule. Uh, so just something to keep in mind, and I realize I've been kind of blabbing on about it, but th it's those little lessons that make all the difference, and I get it, not everybody is gonna admit to uh, being stopped out right before something totally goes in their favor, but you just saw it happen here, 
and I'm proud of it, not ashamed of it, and it's and it happens. Wow, we're 25 minutes in. If you are still with me right now, thank you very much, and, and I really do, I appreciate that. In fact, if you're still watching right now, 25 minutes in, uh, what, what, let's see, what can we say? Um, annoying, annoying happens. Comment down below, annoying happens, because this is this is what occurred here, right? This was very, very annoying, but you know what? Annoying happens as traders, so just, you know, accept it. So like I said, if you're still here, in the comment section, annoying happens. Leave that down below, uh, and I really do thank you for hanging out for, with me for this long, but one final request, if you do enjoy these videos, and especially if you like the little lessons that are kind of, I try to include in them, then the easiest way, the most time efficient way to communicate that to me, just please hit the like button. Now, of course, I'd love a comment down below. So yes, of course, leave annoying happens, but if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. And then finally, check out the channel as a whole, um, and there's a, a good variety of live trade videos and I, I hopefully uh, you'll, you'll get a good uh, variety of things. Uh, some of them though, you'll see, you know, $1,000 in 10 minutes, $2,500 in five minutes. Well, here you have one where I'm up, uh, I actually checked with fees, um, $57. So <laughs> in this one, I'm up $57 after basically an hour. So yeah, not every day can be those huge wins. But like you said, check out the channel and hopefully you decide to ultimately subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, especially if you're still listening to my voice at this very second. I really do appreciate it. So thanks for hanging out. Hit that like button and I'll see you back. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.